But look at this. Dewey's concept of classroom democracy, all right? <coughs> Dewey's concept of education put a spin on meaningful activity in learning and participation in classroom democracy. Everybody say classroom democracy. Classroom democracy. Unlike earlier models of teaching, which relied on authoritarianism and rope learning. Now, authoritarianism meaning I'm the teacher, you the child, I'm gonna tell you this, you gonna learn this because two plus two equals four because I said it. A lot of teachers have taken that mentality and they teach in that way. Also, uh, rote learning, okay? What rote learning is, is we're gonna get repetition. I'm gonna teach you this repetition, all right? After A comes B, after B comes C. And I teach you that every day, after A comes B. After B, come C. But look what he said. He said, in the old times, they, we relied on authoritarianism and rote learning. Progressive education asserted that students must be invested in what they were learning. Dewey argued that curriculum should be relevant. Everybody say relevant. Relevant, relevant to students' lives. He saw learning by doing and development of practical life skills as crucial to children's education. So Dewey said, okay, I don't believe in all that, you know, the way we've been doing things. I believe that we should teach according to the culture of the children so that it can make it, it, can make it relevant for them. Because if we make it relevant for them, they will get it. Remember this, students only fully learn when they are motivated to do so. This usually happens when they are studying what matters personally to them. You ever thought about the fact that children, when you deal with young people, youth, young adults, children, whatever, you ever notice how they ask so many questions? You know, just like your, your little cousin, your little, you know, they ask all these questions. But when they get to school, they're not asking any questions. They're just sitting there. <clears throat> because the curriculum and the ideas and the way, we, the way traditional education has presented to them, it's not relevant to their personal lives. And so they, it's like they don't want, look what Plato said, no forced study abides in the soul. So the things that, when we go to school, stuff is forced on us, okay? We get the information, we remember it for a second, we do it on a test, and it's gone. But if the information is concerning what, the, what, what the children are dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, with the culture that they're into, if we taught according to that, they will be inter they will interact with it, they will get the information, process the information, apply the information, and be excited while they're getting it. I'll give you a good example. Um, everybody knows that, you know, Jordan tennis shoes release on Saturday mornings and 